Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. Learning. Today, I've got a very exciting video for you. But, I'm not sure what it is yet. But I know it's going to be something. Maybe. Still looks like it's going to rain today. Didn't rain yesterday. Maybe for five seconds. We really need the rain, so I wish it would friggin' rain. We haven't got rain probably in Wyoming in, I don't know, it's going to be over a month. Well, maybe a month, I think. I don't remember. I don't remember last time it rained. I don't. It's spitting out right now because the windshield's a little damp. I gotta do a road job today out of town. Hopefully it's not raining for that. I really don't want to because it's hard dicks out. Frag. But hey, it is what it is, it is. Took the old Air 2 out last night with a new cable for it. Just did a little fly around Wyoming there. And uh, works really good. It does with the iPad Ruski. I can see everything now. My eyes are getting bad, Captain. So I use this iPad for doing the flying. But there's a case I got yesterday. See, just a planer janer, just something to protect the old edge ruskies of her. Holy, my neighbor must be in a rush today. And he's not wasting any freaking time. Come on. Probably can't see him. My camera's all cocked and sideways. Oh, you can just barely see the road. Hold on, I got it all decked over. Oh, careful. Distracted driving, why wouldn't I? You gotta pay attention to what I'm doing here. Don't get me in trouble. But as you can see down there, it's kind of a cloudy type of day. 71 Fahrenheit again, but muggy. I don't know if you know what muggy means, but it's like you stand outside for five seconds and your balls start to sweat. That's what muggy means. It's not like up north where it's dry air. She's wet, Captain. Just like Florida. Anybody's been to Florida Keys or something like that, you know what muggy is. What the hell? Why do I have a whistle now? Yesterday it was a coffee cup, today it's a whistle. Freaking Silverado. Oh well, it is what it is, it is. I haven't got any train videos lately. I hear them go by all the time. I haven't been able to catch them. I figured wish they were on a schedule. But they're not. I'm not gonna devote my time to standing there waiting. So if one, if I catch one, I catch one. If I don't, I don't. That's the way I look at her. That's why I need live webcam on that shit. Actually, there was a company that said they were gonna send me one, and they never did. I freaking know they didn't. But I did stop replying to them emails too. I get tired of getting shit. If you're gonna send me something. Send me something that's decent. If it's just shit, you're gonna get just a half-ass video. But if it's good shit, you'll get a good video. These people that send out your garbage just why? So you can rip everybody off with it. Quit. But anyways, we're gonna mosey on to work here and see what's really going on. Hang tight and stay tuned for what's to come. Quit. Done. Friggin' right. Time to go home, Captain. We all gonna like when it's time to go home. We do. Um, what was I gonna say to you guys, and girls, peoples? Oh, yeah, that's what I was gonna tell you. Well, I've had a red light here. I got a new hose for the trailer I did. Thanks, April from uh, Sarnia RV. Why wouldn't you? You're er, right, you did. It's not a 5 8 but that's all they had. And things are getting hard to get right now. At work right now, our accessories are getting hard to get. Everybody's out of friggin' stock. So figure that out. How does that help a small business owner, eh? When the old Covet was going down, they said, everybody online was buying them. So they were sending them out to those peoples. Which is understandable, I guess, because if the stores aren't selling, they're not selling, so they might as well sell to somebody. But still, you think, forget it, I don't know what to tell you. All I know is, that's the way she goes. Tis. So tonight, we gotta go home, and we gotta do some things we do. Last night I went home, that's why there wasn't a video yesterday, and I did, fuck all, which was kinda nice. I took the night off, I did. I said to myself, Bill, sit back and relax. And I was like, okay. But tonight, I got things to do because the time is getting closer for the old one, two, three. So I was out today and I, I had to go and look at trailers or fix a trailer, a front window leak in a trailer. So <laughs> you're gonna like this. A lot of the new trailers now, when you get into the more expensive ones, have a big piece of glass in the front of them. Well, that's laminate, which is the same as, here, let me explain to you how glass is. A lot of people don't get this. So. When your window breaks on the side and it smashes into a billion pieces, that's called tempered glass. So what it is, is it's molded, cut, and then heat treated, which makes it tempered. So that's why when a window blows up, they shatter into a million pieces. A lot of cars were built like that because when a rollover, they can get you out and this and that and the other thing. So 
A windshield is made of what you call a laminate glass, which is two layers of glass with laminate in the middle, which holds it all together. Holds airbag deployment and whatnot, and this and that and the other thing. That's why you can get a stone chip on your windshield, but not really your door glasses, they just blow up. A lot of cars now with passenger side airbags, they change the door glasses to laminate now too. So now you have the windshield, door glasses, laminate. So if you get a rollover, the airbags go off. The window holds the airbag in the vehicle. So now the door glasses help the airbag deploy properly. So now if you're in a rollover, in water or whatever, you gotta get, make your way to the back window and break it because a lot of times that's the only window that's tempered still in the vehicle. Most part, they're all tempered still at the back. Going back to the friggin' trailer, they put a huge window in the front of the trailers now and it's laminate. So it's the same as your windshield. So you can get stone chips on the front of the trailer, you crack and stuff like that. It's not tempered. I think it's kind of dickered. I don't know why you want to put a big friggin' hunkin' piece of glass on the front of a trailer where your tires are constantly throwing stuff up. Like the front of my trailer is just dickered from stones hitting it. So why you'd want to put that on the front, I, I don't I don't know. So down the road, I think I'm getting in my future, I got to go and replace one because they're gonna warranty it because it was leaking, but I temporarily sealed it because a customer wanted his trailer this weekend, which is understandable, but I gotta change it. So that should be interesting. It looks pretty easy actually, there's not much to it, but once that trailer's out of warranty and stuff, it's gonna suck to replace that window on your buck. So just have an eye, if you're buying trailer, make sure it's not a big piece of land on the front of it because I can see that just getting broken all the time. I really can, especially when you're pulling it. Stones have nowhere to go but up. Just a little friendly how you doing from the dirty old Bilson. So keep that in mind if you're out buying a trailer. Not a good idea. Captain. No windows in the front for me, please. Just a fiberglass nose cone, I'm happy. Friggin' right I am. So I'm not gonna buy one like that. But on that note, I was looking into buying a different trailer. I'd like to get a friggin' toy hauler so I can put the old decent in the back, but they're too much money now. So scratch that idea. I'm just gonna fix my trailer up so it's not a cruise light anymore. I am gonna make her better. I am. I started today. Today was the first day of making her better. I ordered myself a skylight for the shower because my head rubs against the roof of the thing and my trailer didn't come with a shower. Dome lid thing a bobber like most have because it was a cruise light and it was early model. So we ordered one of them. So we're going to install that on a video and I'm going to show you my way of putting it in because you got a rubber membrane roof and I don't want to just slice a knife through it because what happens if it goes right? I already know how I'm going to do it, so stay tuned for that video. It'll be coming up in the next week or two, but we'll get that out for you because I'll do that for a video I will because I'm sure a lot of you want to see how that's done. And I want to put a window in the side of the bunk because there's one at the top bunk but not the bottom bunk, so i got to find a window for that. I haven't found one yet. Leave your comments down below if you know anybody that sells uh, trailer windows because I'm trying to get the same one as what I have in it and I'm having a hard time finding one. I was told by the dealer today that my trailer might already be framed for window in the bottom bunk because some of them had them, some of them didn't. So it might be a generic framed already. So I'm supposed to feel the wall and he said the walls are so thin, they're like paper, that you can actually feel if there's a frame behind it. So we'll have a feel there and see what's what. But let me know in the comments down below if you understand what I mean by tempered and laminate glass now. Because uh, I run into people every day that doesn't, don't know the difference on the glass. They don't. They're afraid that if they get a stone chip in their windshield, it's going to blow up into a million pieces like a door glass. And they don't. Or back glass, because a lot of door glasses now are laminate. But like a back glass, but they don't. They, they stay in one piece until you get them changed. It's a safety factor for sure, but you don't have to panic when it's broken. Get her fixed as soon as possible because the cops can't pull you over for a broken windshield. Not that it ever happens hardly, but they can. I've, I've seen it. I've seen it happen. Friggin' right I have. But I'm going to go home. Hopefully not do what I wanted to do. I wanted to paint the nose cone on the trailer tonight, but it's supposed to rain, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get that done. I'll go home and see what wifey poo made for dinner. And other than that, that's about all the dirty old Rod Nose Stick Gill Bills is doing today. But don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button if you like the little discussions like this. Why wouldn't you? And until next time, you know what to do for now.